The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. One more, one more into the breach. Dear friends, do we go? As always, we come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m., and 3 p.m. Wow, sounds very ominous. Anyway, uh, what do we have on right now? Well, we're up less than a point on the S&P cash. Uh, we were down to 2361. We're up at uh, 2368. But we're literally flat on the day from Friday. Volume is way low. Uh, about uh, what, uh, 250, 300 million short of Friday's volume at this time. We haven't even cracked 2 billion shares on the New York Consolidated Day. So um, a fairly light push up uh, after the open. And again, uh, I think everybody just kind of hanging around for the uh, state of the onion uh, tomorrow night. Uh, the onion, what is about 8 o'clock? I think it's normally 8 o'clock Eastern time for the state of the onion. So uh, we will... Uh, well, I think we're maybe waiting for that just a little bit. Um, other than that, just not that much uh, going on out here. Pretty quiet day. Of course, uh, most of the action happened in Asia. Those uh, markets were down. Gold's flat. Uh, the dollar index uh, uh, kind of hit uh, and took a pounding earlier in the day. It's now just off six cents, though, and back above. 101, 101 and six cents. So, you know, if uh, this is uh, for dollar traders, uh, I have a feeling more are probably going bankrupt than uh, dot com traders did in 2000. It's just if you if you've ever been around dollars and watching their charts, this is this is like dot com meets the housing crisis, meets something else. It's just all over the map from day to day. And, of course, it's mostly a tug of war between Chinese, uh, the uh, euro, and the United States. And you just never know what someone's going to bring to the table that day. He's going to be a 45, going to be a 22, who's shooting at who. Um, kind of tough to figure out. Anyway, market's flat, gold's flat. Dollars really back to flat now. Uh, everybody keeps on trying to pull. And uh, the knots are pretty tight. But uh, normally, this is a good example of what to watch for in markets uh, that are building steam for a big move. Uh, light volume at highs. Um, a lot of interday action. Some of the high flyers starting to fail already. Uh, we'll talk about that. Um, what else do we have? Eh, I think we have history. We need to get this party started. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1891, David Sarnoff, uh, future president of Radio Corporation of America, otherwise known to RCA for people in Lutz, Florida, and the greatest visionary of radio and television to come, uh, was uh, not that great. A, he wasn't a big designer. He was somebody that was a great businessman. I'm going to kind of say that he was a prototype of Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs probably knew a little bit more about technology. Not a whole lot more, but a little bit more uh, than David Sarnoff. Uh, the, probably the if you're unfamiliar with him, he has his own museum in New Jersey. Uh, but he was uh, instrumental in making uh, radio affordable. And 
you can kind of think of a Steve Jobs-ish kind of guy, uh, long on the bull, short on the substance, but had a good product behind uh, Sarnoff. And another uh, gentleman named Farnsworth, uh, if you ever watch, uh, what is that, uh, Futurama, Professor Farnsworth is kind of a takeoff of this guy. He actually invented uh, television, figured out how to put it together. Of course, actually designing it and actually manufacturing it in volume is two different things. Uh, so RCA and uh, Farnsworth, who had some uh, well-heeled uh, partners, uh, went to war on the patents. Eventually, Farnsworth won, but uh, he wasn't the... Uh, he wasn't a picture postcard of, uh, of uh, mental health, should we say. Kind of about as nutty as uh, some of the other uh, great early uh, electronics geniuses like Tesla. Uh, but uh, they went at it for a long time. Um, RCA basically the victor, uh, not in courts, but uh, in the public. Uh, but uh, Farnsworth got a nice little taste. Uh, interestingly enough, Farnsworth was a guy that uh, grew up on a potato farm, learned almost everything uh, by himself. Sarnoff, a little different, uh, moved to the United States in 1900, uh, had a paper route, got a job kind of accidentally as a uh, tele typewriter oper uh, operator for the Marconi Company, which was later bought by uh, RCA and some of the other ones. Uh, his real genius is doing something that exactly what Microsoft did and Apple didn't uh, during the days of Macintosh. And that was figuring out that the real money wasn't building the radios, but building all the technology that went into it and licensing it. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, Bill Gates talks about Sarnoff, uh, I think, in a couple of his books, some of his speeches. Uh, as figuring out that when they were trying to get to market with the PC, um, they had a lot of people that were working with them. And uh, I think it was one or two of the guys were big fans of Sarnoff, figuring out that, that the market was too big for Microsoft itself. Uh, and one of the realizations was that uh, RCA was selling less than 25% of the radios uh, at the time that he decided to license all the technology and tubes to other folks and let them make them. Uh, but on this day in 1891, Dana, David Sarnoff, uh, a visionary for radio and later for television, is born and uh, well worth going to his museum in New Jersey. I can't remember where it is. I've been a couple of times, though. It's there. Uh, how many? <laughs> yes, uh, many... I tell you what, I worked with uh, guys that uh, literally were the smartest guys I've ever met in all my uh, days, and both of them uh, ended up uh, in the loony bin. So there is, it, it's not that far. Both of these guys were like 180 IQ, 191 IQ. Brilliant guys could do on a Monday what everybody else did all week long and do it perfectly the first time but uh, there's a price to pay for that we'll be back after this TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software.
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. After the bell tonight, we've got uh, Abel Marl something. I never can pronounce that. Abel Marley. Since they only come out every three months, I never remember the way to pronounce it after the three months goes away again. Uh, Arena Pharmaceuticals, EOG Resources, Freight Car of America, Tenant Healthcare, and Work Day. One of the best companies that I can think of, uh, but doesn't always translate to the stock, but I do like the company long term. Uh, before the bell tomorrow, we got 58.com, so get a little taste of China. Uh, Ameren Corporation, AutoZone, Chenier Energy, Domino's Pizza, Sea World Entertainment, Steve Madison, uh, Madden Limited, Shoes, symbol is shoe, really big shoe, S-H-O-O, -O, and Target. Uh, so uh, we got a little bit of action. Target may move the market a little bit. I think they didn't they miss last time. Or pre announced I think they pre announced uh, Anyway, that's kind of it. Uh, not a lot of news going on. I wanted to take a look at Apple. Uh, we did see buried in the uh, Friday night document dump that uh, Man Bear Pig uh, sold uh, one half of all his Apple shares in the last uh, quarterly cycle. If you're unfamiliar with Man Bear Pig, uh, that is the, um, you know, he said he invented the internet. Give you a little hint, but uh, also probably more famous for the uh, South Park episode of Man Bear Pig. Um, but uh, he, we kind of found out that he sold half of it, and Mr. Buffett came by and probably bought the other, bought that half of his shares, but sold about twenty-seven million dollars. Interestingly enough, uh, Al Gore uh, is on the board of directors, so that if he sold half his shares, you kind of have to scratch your head. So I don't know what else you can say about it. <laughs> I'm super serial. Uh, oh, uh, I think that was a 2006 episode of Man Bear Pig. Uh, 
Al Gore has been on the Apple board since 2003. Um, and, you know, it's always good to get somebody that's inside uh, the beltway of Washington, D.C. as protection, which is what a lot of these guys just are. Buy-in protection. Give them a lot of uh, options, and uh, hopefully they'll cover your rear end when the time comes. But not a lot, but uh, I think the market probably thought that, at least on Friday night, thought that Apple might open up several dollars lower. Uh, but uh, Mr. Buffett came out, told everybody that they should buy at the highs here, Apple. So who knows? Other stocks of interest, uh, percentage advancers. Applied to Opto Electronics gets a little bit more of its boost from Thursday's earnings. Uh, Foot Locker um, had a nice day on Friday, kind of moving back up. A little bit more today, but no volume. So I'm not going to say that this is a uh, follow-on sign of strength. Uh, Insight, I-N-C-Y. I'm trying to remember what these guys do. Let's go ahead and check it out before I forget, which is uh, easy to do these days. You can always give me a call at 877-927-6648. And, of course, email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, proprietary therapeutics in oncology. Okay. Cancer. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, fibromyofibrosis. Uh, and, uh, poly something vera cancers. Hmm. Clinic. Okay. All clinical. So everybody's betting on the come on this one. I N T U intuit. If you get a round into it, it bounced nicely on Friday. A little pullback out here today. And again, some of these just bounce, uh, not any follow through. OLED, certainly a huge follow through from Friday's earnings also. Uh, you had uh, 4.8 million shares on Friday, 1.8 million shares today. You probably have one more day in this one. Um, even the now, this one has been kind of wacky. I think it was trading at about $72 going into earnings uh, at the open uh, Thursday. And it sold down to $67. Traded as low as $63 after hours. And then when the uh, trades actually came out, this thing just cleaned house on shorts. PEGA, which is Pegasus 6 Systems, had a huge day on Friday. Again, not much of a uh, a follow on day to day in most of these. OLED, I think, is the only one that did it, and Restoration Hardware. So we'll take a look at that one. Restoration Hardware looks like it could get back in the app. Uh, we talked about it on Friday. Probably look at this thing uh, topping at it about 36. SEM, which is Select Medical, uh, looks like it's headed back for its recent highs at $15.15. Uh, a lot of volume on Friday. Again, not much follow-on today, certainly not the kind of volume that you'd like to see as a follow-on sign of strength in these. Uh, Tudor Perini Corporation, TPC, a little bit of a bounce out here. Again, on a very narrow market, not uh, all that exciting uh, uh, stuff going on. On the uh, downside, uh, BNG Foods. Uh, gap down on Friday, a little bit more. The same is going through the gap of the 5th of December. And uh, pretty light volume today. SPAR, which is Spartan Motors, has come back to fill its gap at $7. That gap started on July 26. And what do we have? Yeah, July 26 of last year, 1.5 million shares were back into it. Actually, with not bad looking volume Friday, uh, 440,000 shares, and today 266,000 shares. I wonder what Spartan Motors does. I bet they sell a 300. What do you think? Let's find out uh, with their profile. Uh, Heavy duty and custom vehicles. Uh, emergency response vehicles, 
Oh, okay. Fire trucks, ambulances, that kind of stuff. Emergency response vehicles. Uh, also, bakery and snack food and delivery utility vehicles. Huh. So, uh, yeah, this one's kind of going back flat. Don't think they're going to be de uh, delivering concrete in those. So maybe it's just uh, not the uh, flavor of the day. Southwest Energy, a little pop back up out here today, but not much. TDS, uh, Telephone and Data Systems, this one got hammered on Friday. This is a continuation. Volume is good on this one today. It is breaking the 2862 February 8th low. So your next real low back out in this one, it's going to be $24 going back to the November 4th, 2016th low. So this one looks like it's got all the energy in the world to do it. May take a little while to get down there, but four and a half bucks lower on this one before it probably finds a uh, shovel of sand under its keel. When we come back, we'll look at two EOO DK. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As I said, the dollar trades like a dot-com stock in uh, early 2000, up and down, up and down. Uh, it's uh, trying to go through the uh, highs of Friday right now, uh, 101.16. So, uh, again, if you dislike the price of uh, the dollar index, uh, just wait five or ten minutes. Maybe it will give you something that you do like. But right now, it looks uh, fairly good, especially as 
bad as they were hammering it early in the day, uh, down to 168 cents. So uh, quite the uh, trading vehicle these days, interday. Uh, what else do we have going on out here? Oh, TK Offshore Partners. Again, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. Call me at 877-927-6648 or put a message in the den. Uh, okay, what do we have? Um, offshore Partners. Uh, big gap at about $5.70 to $5.60. I don't know if there's anything else you can say out here. Volume the last two days has been kind of strong, so I'm pretty much uh, making the big assumption that that $4.60 uh, area in this gap that goes back to the, what is that, uh, June 17th uh, is something of value. Uh, SOES, Z-O-E-S. Uh, through right now with the uh, volume of three, yeah, blew through volume on Friday. Uh, back uh, Zoe's uh, ch uh, kitchen. This one's not too old. It's not been around more than a couple of years, I don't think, as an IPO, Zoe's kitchen. Uh, but blew through the Friday, uh, the October 6th low that had a million shares uh, with uh, three times plus of the volume. A uh, little bit of follow through today, but not as bad as it could be, but still bad. Um, so that's kind of it. Why don't we... Uh, Take a look at some of the other stocks out here. I think uh, let's look at some of the ones at 52 week size and see. We already talked about AAOI, Opto Electronics, ABT, which is Abbott Labs. Now, this one is hitting highs on light volume August 2nd, 18 million shares, $45.50. And of course, you came into it with uh, half that volume on Friday with just 9.6 million shares. So pretty good test. This thing had a very violent uh, down slope from August 2nd uh, to uh, December 1st last year and a fairly smooth move back up uh, in comparison. But uh, nice move all the way back to the highs, just no volume, which is kind of the entire market out here today. Uh, Alliance Data Systems, take a look a little long or this one's just filling this uh, huge gap down. And that's uh, from the 28th of December, 2016. Um, and again, huge volume in that one that's not really being made up right now as it finishes that gap. That'd be an interesting, uh, at least stock to look at short. Uh, Autodesk just keeps kind of climbing higher. Uh, what do I have out here? Ameren. Corporation, a uh, little bit light. Uh, in fact, uh, all the uh, utilities and safety stocks seem to have been going higher the last three days above, or many of them anyway, above previous highs and not a lot of volume. So there may be kind of a snapback in those fairly quickly. Uh, Assured Guaranteed Company, AGO, another 52-week high. To, to, um, let's see if there, any of these other ones. Uh, a lot of small caps out here where a lot of people are not very uh, familiar with the Malign Technologies, ALGN on this one. Um, actually had some decent volume. Hasn't really been able to break this December 19th high. Had 1.4 million shares. I mean, you got into it with uh, some fairly decent volume. Is that right? Oh, that's the spike back here. You spiked that high on this first, but you're back up again with just no juice back up at that 102 high. ALL, which is Allstate Corporation, you had another 52-week high. Um, American Homes for Rent is uh, finding some very light volume above its August 8th, 2016 high, $22.88, 3.1 million shares. So as we go through this, we basically have 1.6 million shares, 2 million shares on Friday, 1.4 million shares today. So you're getting a lot of these stocks that are coming back up with no real big signs of strength back above previous highs. I think a lot of these are going to snap back into the trading range fairly quickly. Uh, to, 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 to see, 
get a few more out here. Boeing Company, another one. Uh, a lot of articles over the weekend about how Boeing is uh, backlog is getting fairly deep for planes. And right now, if they never got another order and half of them canceled, they'd still be building planes for the next four years uh, on the uh, commercial side, not on the military side. So uh, another one. But what do we have out here today? Just very light volume, 4.2 million shares on Friday uh, to less than uh, 1.8 million shares right now. Uh, 3.4 million shares on Thursday. You know, you just uh, you're back up here on a lot of these stocks with almost no volume. So we'll be. Uh, uh, da -da -da. I got a, a update from somebody here. What's this all about? Uh, da -da -da. Huh. Someone sent out as a my newsletter as an update. Okay. I don't know what that is about. Oh. Something goofed up. Okay. Uh, let's uh, take a look. Oh, we looked at Boeing, BDX, Beckinson, Dickinson, and Company. Another one hitting a 52-week high. Uh, this one actually had some decent volume on, on, and as it went through the previous $180.95 high, if you go back to the 2nd of February, 1.3 million shares, but it moved right back into the trading range, came back, hadn't really had a sign of strength above this thing for the last couple of days. So a lot of these stocks could pop right back into the trading range without much effort. Uh, Bungie Limited, this is back. Finally filling the gap. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, gap goes back to the 30th of July last year. Oh, actually 2015. So this came down with 3.2 million shares. We're back into it with uh, 1.8, 1.7, and just uh, 737,000 shares today. So a lot of these stocks are getting back you know, they've been working through uh, heavy supply lines. Now it's the people that have been long this thing for a long time uh, that will be uh, just thanking the gods that they got their cash back. Blue, uh, blur, blah, 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 blah. Bluebird Bio, when we come back. This one's uh, up and through its gap down. We'll take a look at the volume when we come back. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And what do we have going on out here today? Well, well a lot of nothing. We're up two and a half points on the S&P cash. No volume. 2.2 uh, billion shares as we go into the second to the last segment here today so maybe there'll be more volume coming in but man we're going to break and probably make another new high out here without much going on uh tlt is off uh, 73 cents 121.28 uh, as we've been uh, talking out here the dollar is back up on its friday testing its friday's highs looks to me like this thing wants to go back up into the mid 101s at least for the next uh foreseeable future which is about an hour and a half apparently on the dollar um and uh what do we have on here we had uh we have the dollar what did i have out here oh that's what i wanted to change da, 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 da. wanted to take a quick look at commodities hang on just a second okay totally flat on oil uh brent's off six cents Natural gas off nine cents. Uh, just not much going on. Uh, gold off two bucks, two and a half bucks. Uh, pretty quiet day on the Western Front. Not a lot of signals. Pretty quiet. Uh, so anyway, what do we have? Eh, just when you're ready and think the market's ready to go your way, it doubles back at the pass. Anyway, uh, Bluebird Bio. This nice uh, gap down with a huge volume, what do we got? Uh, 10 million shares on the 7th of December, a date that will live in infamy. Is you going back through it the last couple of days, 770,000 shares, uh, about 1 million shares today. Um, B-O-F-I, when we look at this one, eh, nothing to really hang on to that one. Brooks Automotion, Chubb Corporation. Again, this one didn't really have a sign of strength when it went through its previous highs of 131 and 132.90. The thing is just kind of, you had kind of one big day out here with a high volume low on February 1st, and you've gone up on little or no volume since then. So uh, up about 10 bucks on nothing. So keep an eye on Chubb. What else do we have out here? Continental Building testing its previous high. Eh, volume actually a little better, but not able to hold its high. This is CBPX. Uh, CDK. Eh, again, a lot of these stocks uh, last couple of days, man, the volume's just been falling off. Let me zoom in a little bit more out here. Last uh, four, five, seven days, the volume's just gone down in cadence as it continues to make new 52-week highs. Uh, what do we have? C.H. Robinson, another one broke out without a real sign of strength or any follow-on out here. You had at least an okay day, but nothing exciting. A lot of these things are just hanging out here like big, fat fastballs. If this market does turn, there's going to be a handful of stocks out here that are going to probably pop back into these trading range 
very quickly. Let me go through a few more of these here. Cisco Systems. Now, this one had a nice gap up on earnings. Uh, if you looked at the earnings, I'm not exactly sure why they thought this was the stock to buy. The earnings were not all that great. Uh, but uh, you had volume, uh, almost 50 million shares. Uh, and since then, every day, the volume has gone back down. A little doji out here today on nothing of volume. CXW, Corrections of America. Uh, not a lot of action for as much uh, discussion about continuing uh, for-profit jails, which I think they kind of talked about most of last week. The thing kind of gapped up on it but really didn't move that much and certainly not a lot of volume. Uh, Diebold, another one back up 52 week highs. Um, you had a nice day of strength uh, going back here on the 14th, went sideways for four or five days. You had a little bit of volume on Friday, but not all that much excitement and a no volume doji out here today uh, with a new high. So like I said, a lot of these stocks, they're at the do or die point right now. DuPont, DFT, Fabros Technology. Uh, this one had a lot of volume on Friday. Didn't really get that much action on Thursday. Some decent action and a decent can. Uh, volume kind of picking up here. You might have a little bit of a pullback already started in that one. DGX, which is uh, Quest Diagnostics. Uh, this one is breaking above its previous high of January 26, $95.14. 1.7 million shares that goes through with 800,000 shares on Friday. Uh, today, you got about three, less than 300,000 shares. So again, this is a pretty dangerous time to be uh, being a pilgrim out there. As you all know, pilgrims get the arrows. Uh, DTE Energy Company, DTE. Da -da -da. Uh, uh. Maybe I should go through some of those. Someone's just telling me that miners are getting whacked. Not exactly sure why. Maybe the dollar. Uh, DTE Energy. D -d -d -um. Volume. Eh. Kind of light volume pullback on that one so far today. That's one of the better ones I looked at. Echo Lab, another one in the, uh, you know, I guess a lot of these things are right and priced for perfection uh, based on the state of the onion address tomorrow night. Nice ABC and Echo Lab. So this pretty much should have done everything that it, it has done up to 125.97 uh, today and kind of pulling back. Not a lot of volume up here for another high out here too. So we will see on that. Uh, to, to, uh, what else? Uh, maybe we'll look at miners in that last segment. But Edison International. Another 52-week high. I don't see anything in that other than another day with very light volume at these 52-week high stocks. Uh, Exelon Corporation, EXC. This one broke above its previous high. Volume shrank by 20% on Friday. Um, and now it's kind of pulling back into its trading range again. FIS to Fidelity National. Nothing exciting. Fist serve uh, going back up. And this kind of looks like maybe it could be completing an ABC. A uh, little bit more volume than the others, though, out here for a new high, even though it's kind of reversing itself a bit. Comfort systems, huge day on Friday, massive sign of strength. Everything you wanted to look at. Would have probably liked to seen a follow on day, uh, but uh, back at about 35 bucks, if you can get it, 35 and a half is where support is going to be on that one on a pullback. Fidelity National uh, Financial, FNF, uh, testing its previous highs. Volume is just a little lighter, but the thing did a turtle, prairie dogged up here on Friday at 38.60, and it's pulling back into its trading range. Uh, financial Engines, FNGN, is filling its gap. This one's not a, a huge volume stock, but uh, the wheels fell off the wagon on this one back on uh, August 6 of 2015. And it's been all that time coming back and filling this gap back up here today. A lot of volume on Friday. Pretty quiet out here today. 
Financial Engines, F-N-G-N. We come back and try to go through the uh, rest of, of these 52-week highs and see what we can see out here as these stocks continue to kind of prairie dog stick their necks out, see whether or not they're going to get chopped off. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we were looking at 52-week highs. What happened there? I'm going to go find it now. 52-week highs. Where's that, where's that at? There you go. Nope. What did I do with it? I delete it? Nope, just uh, had it down. Okay, let's look at a few more of these and close up the end of the day. Uh, I want to check out Oracle out here. We'll see how some of these bigger ones are looking. Looks like a little reversal out here. At least maybe, you know, I tell you what, I hadn't thought about it, but it looks like if uh, the market would roll over here a little bit, not saying it's going to happen, but if it did before the end of the day, or you could get if a lot of these little stocks are starting to get some dark cloud cover. That's kind of what Oracle looks like out here today. Uh, Paychex, P A Y C, that Paychex isn't it? Paycom, excuse me. Uh, this one's got another high out here, no volume. Man, how many of these 52-week highs out here? I have no volume today. Another one today, Pembra Pipeline. Thing had some nice volume on Friday. A little doji out here with nothing today. 
Uh, PG and E Corporation. Man, this one, uh, the 3 million shares, you got less than a million today. Making a little higher highs. Not a lot of juice. Uh, light volume today in Piedmont Office Realty Trust, PDM. Eh, you might be able to get Friday's volume. Something big happens before the end of the day. Pegasus Systems, PEGA. Huge day on Friday. And now a low volume doji with just a slight higher high. Man, I would be nervous out here on some of these equities. I can't say what the index is going to do, but uh, some of these things all look like they could pop right back in to their trading range with the incredible light volume today. Another one hanging out here on nothing today is Pinnacle West Capital, PNW. On Friday, you had about 800,000 shares. You got less than 400,000 today up here. Uh, uh, eh, that one's not as clear. Uh, got some a lot of REITs. Ring Central. Oh, this one actually doesn't look too bad. This may have completed kind of an ABC, though. Out here today at 2785 RNG, the symbol on that one. SBGI, Sinclair Broadcasting Company. Not a lot of volume, although just a couple of ticks higher out here today. And again, if you had some kind of massive reversal before the end of the day, this would make a lot of these 52-week highs stocks look very poor. Uh, SPHD, which is the PowerShares High Dividend Portfolio, uh, some decent volume yesterday. Man, just a little hanging doji out here today. Volume's a little lighter. Wouldn't say it's a massive signal. Let's see what else we have out here as we close up the day. Got a couple of minutes left. See if there's anything else out here that really sticks out. Uh, got a couple of emails, so let's go try to get those out of the day. Uh, wanted me to take a look at Facebook real quick. I didn't see anything in it, although I looked at it earlier. Same thing as a lot of these stocks. Man, you had a nice juice in this one on the 22nd of 27.3 million shares. Uh, today, about 10 million shares as you just tick above that high, and you're kind of coming back into the trading range on these. Uh, wouldn't short Facebook, but eh, kind of interesting. Let's take a quick look at Amazon. Amazon, of course, made a little higher high. Volume was about the same as you got back past the 843 of January 26th. Uh, you went through this the last three days. It gapped down, of course, on Friday. Today, pushing back up and filling that gap with very light volume. Well, it's going to be a day where you want to see and spend some time with charts tonight because it looks to me like there's a lot of these stocks hanging up here with, at best, kind of the same volume at the worst, some very, very light volume out here on a very, very light volume day. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.